good afternoon and welcome to Happy New Year, of course. And it's the first competitive Birmingham match of the calendar year. And we're away from home at Mansfield in the third round of the FA Cup, of course, now sponsored by Emirates Airlines, but we're still calling it the FA Cup. The Emirates, obviously, people wondering why there's the, em the word Emirates in the name. That's the new the airline, the well-known airline from the Far East are the new... Uh, are the new FA Cup sponsors for this year and uh, to be quite honest it's I do I do think it's um, I do think rather it's a bizarre thing that, uh, that the FA have sold their soul for a few quid but there you go but anyway enough about the controversies there we've got some FA Cup action to bring you let's have a look at some of the games that have uh, let's have a look at some of the um, some of the fixtures that have been played at the moment. This is round three, of course. These are the older fixtures that were uh, taking place in round three, and they're all being played more or less all on the same day. So everything happening all on the same day. Accrington, big day for them at um, the Crown Ground. They've got Manchester City, Arsenal, and Man United is the big, big tie. Villa have got Fulham. Birmingham have got Southampton. Blackburn against Bolton, a Lancashire derby there. Bournemouth against Millwall. Brentford play Port Vale, Brighton against Liverpool, that's a repeat of the 1984 match, 4th round match where Brighton won 2-0. Chelsea against Cardiff, Colchester against Sheffield United, Crew Alexandra against Reading, Crystal Palace against Watford, Derby County against Swansea, Doncaster against uh, Phil Parkinson's Bradford, Everton against Rotherham, it's a big day for uh, Neil Redfern's side there as they go across to, uh, to Merseyside to face Martinez's Everton. Gillingham have got Wolves. Huddersfield have got Swindon. Ipswich against Burton. Lake Norians against Peterborough. We have played, uh, we're playing Mansfield Town at the moment uh, in the upper reaches of League 2. Bearing in mind who we played last time, in a, uh, we played a League 2 team and lost, so we've got to take this one a bit more seriously this time. Uh, Middlesbrough against 1997, uh, it's a repeat in the 1997 semi-final, Middlesbrough against Chesterfield, MK Dons against Bristol City, Norwich against Sheffield Wednesday at Carroll Road, Nor Nottingham Forest are at home at the City Ground to Hull, Oxford take on QPR in the repeat of the 1986 League Cup final, Preston against Stoke City, two of the football, English football's elder statesmen, uh, Spurs against Charlton, Sunderland take on Stevenage, renowned cup fighters of course Stevenage, uh, Balsall against Leeds, West Brom against Newcastle, so an old Premier League game there, West Ham against Leicester, Wigan against Fleetwood, a bit of a local derby there, and that completes the lineup for the third round proper of the FA Cup, all being played on the same day, New Year's Day. So let's get over to Field Mill, where I suspect there will be a much changed squad, but bearing in mind, the last time we played League 2 opposition, we, we played at home to Barnet, and if you remember, we lost in the League Cup. We can't afford for Lightning not to strike twice today. So let's hope we can get doing the job against Mansfield. It will be tough, so let's get over to Field, field Mill, where I'm ready and waiting in a shivering commentary box to bring you... Hello, good afternoon to you all and welcome to the FA Cup third round from a very, very cold field mill in Nottinghamshire as the as the League 2 side who are 9 from the table take on the League Premier League table toppers, the Clarets. Much changed Clarets. Plenty of names to look for, for there. Scott Shearer, the goalkeeper, is a familiar name. Thomas Blair on the two wings. Green up front. Pierce and Tafazole, the two centre-backs. And Burnley makes several changes. There are a few big hitters on the bench, as you can see. Bentaleb, Ings and Hughes, just a few of three of them. Uh, but it's a, it's some, it gives a chance for some of the fringe players to have a goal. Graham Fox are the men up front. Referee today is from Zimbabwe, Regis Gaiva. I, understand, I don't understand why a Zimbabwe and his refereeing an FA Cup tie, but <laughs> there you go. That's the wisdom of EA Sports, but there you are. So we're all set to go here at a very, very cold field mill here. And it's Mansfield Town get this third round FA Cup tie away against a very changed 
It's changed Burnley side. It's the second time that Burnley have played League Two opposition in the Cup side. The last time we played a League Two side, we were sort of embarrassed. That was at Turf Four in the League Cup against Barnet. Let's hope for. Let's hope Scott Shearer doesn't have a particularly good game like uh, Graham Stack did in that Barnet goal. Although a couple of months ago, here's Jones. Chances here for Gray. He's got folks waiting in the middle. And that's a lovely ball back. Now it's the first one. No, it's not. It's against the bar. Still not away yet. I thought Volks was going to make it 1 0, but he's hit the crossbar. Here's Thomas from Mansfield. Green. It's a good ball over there towards Blair. Twinkle toes like his namesake Lionel was. Blair! Goal kick. I'm sure that his teammates will call him Twinkle Toes, probably call him Lionel after Lionel Blair, but <laughs> he certainly was Twinkle Toes down that right-hand flank. Richard Keel. Tommy Smith. David Jones holding the ball up superbly and plays Sam Vokes into the game. Pereira. Gray was a little bit slow to react and he almost got there, but Scott Shearer was there first in the Mansfield Town goals remember if it ends a draw after 90 minutes uh, there will be there'll be absolutely no extra time there will be a replay back at Turf Moor a week on Tuesday Burnley won't be too bothered if they do because they haven't got any European football or any League Cup semi-finals to worry about at the moment so uh, I'm sure they wouldn't be too bothered if it was to be extra time. It is a tough ground to come to, Phil Mill. Many sides win there, that's why they're not been... Oh, what a chance for Chapman. Near post and Mansfield almost taking the lead here. What a good opportunity. Tom Heaton now, one of just two survivors from the Liverpool victory. A couple of days, a couple of nights ago, um, was... Uh, Almost rooted to the spot. The other survivor there, Tommy Smith, is on the ball. Finds Pereira. Lovely ball to Gray. And it goes to Vokes. Vokes is shot blocked there. In fact, it's three survivors. Pereira's the other one, in fact. Here's Rose. Thomas. Green. Marsden. Blair is further forward, but uh, Smith cuts it out. Grealish. Jones. He's got Vokes and Gray waiting in the middle. Scott Shearer now trying to get back on the line. That's surely going to be the first goal, but Vokes is inexplicably headed it straight at the goalkeeper, Scott Shearer, who made a, a routine save. Former Coventry youngster, of course, Scott Shearer. Coventry fans will remember him from his early days there at uh, the Rico Arena. And before that, at Highfield Road. Pierce. Green. Pierce. Pereira cuts that out. Brings Grealish in there. What a chance now for Grealish. Grealish against the post. Well, Burnley should be free up by now. They've hit the crossbar. They've hit the post. They've had it headed straight at uh, goalkeeper Shearer. And still... A can't break through. 36 minutes gone. Still Mansfield holding on in there in this FA Cup third round. Of course, Mansfield have had to go through two previous rounds to get through here. Here's Jones. Shot was charged. Benning should get that away. Alongside Pierce. Five minutes to go to half time here. So Vokes. Oh, that's good running, Vokes, yes. And it had been coming. Four minutes to go to the break. And Burnley finally do break through. Unlike Barnet, they do break through here at Field Mill in the FA Cup. 2,000 Claret supporters have come across the Pennines to Nottinghamshire. It's just on the edge of uh, West, it's South Yorkshire and North Nottinghamshire, Mansfield. But uh, it's a good, it's a good goal. Some folks, well, 
that was a good finish composed finish there and the second string more or less one up there are a few players in the side today that do want to leave the likes of Drek Gurelish he just hasn't worked out for him really at uh, Burnley it's been better players that have come in and done well as Blair sends that in he's probably been Mansfield's best player in the first half uh, young Blair on that right hand side folks chest it down superbly but the referee brings the end to the game well to the first half anyway so some folks has goal four minutes from the breaks gives Burnley an advantage they hit the bar and hit the post but they've scored now some folks the scorer and Burnley lead by a goal to nil in the third round of the FA Cup and welcome back to Phil Mill for the third round of the FA Cup Manchester City a swing stand are going through at Accrington Stanley Manchester United winning at Arsenal in the big third round game of the weekend but this is another big one certainly if you are uh, a persuasion of Mansfield Town having the Premier League leaders on your own doorstep isn't something you get every day here's uh, David Jones and Burnley of course are taking the goal to our right where the two and a half thousand Clarets are situated behind and here's Gray good tackle by Rose it's a, a Burnley corner chance to look at that Sam Volk strike again that broke the deadlock here in this FA Cup third round of course sponsored by Emirates good finish there into the back of the net chance by Jack Grealish now we put on the transfer list at Turf Moor to hoist the corner in and this would uh, give him a good chance to put himself in the shot wonder for any mid-table Premier League club Chapman it's a big shot window for these others uh, Mansfield Town players as well they've uh, they've really got to show some fight and on um, 4th of January we've got to go to Carroll Road and you'll be able to see that in our next episode here's a chance now for Burnley but Mars in the cross there it's a good bit of play here's Blair and he's shown the old twinkle toes again Tommy Smith brought him down referee playing the advantage he was right to do so and dear me too close there for Mansfield's comfort the referee's blown the whistle offside given against Mansfield we need not concern ourselves with that no yellow car for the challenge on Blair by the way Bellerine folks Sam Vokes oh he's gone all the way through Sam Vokes good save Scott Shearer well he's kept uh, Mansfield in the FA Cup with that save because if that had got in from Sam Vokes Burnley would have had one foot in the fourth round for sure twenty five minutes for Mansfield to try and force an equaliser and a possible replay out of this is great I had every right to go in with Scott Shearer in fact Scott Shearer was always going to win the battle in the end that's a throw to Burnley and Mansfield making a change there they're going to bring on Chris Clements for Adam Chapman who's wasted a couple of opportunities today but Chris Clements is a very good player at League 2 level will cause Burnley one or two dicey moments I'm sure but here's uh, Jack Grealish decent cross required Gray was there and it's a corner and Grealish's corner once again folks is jumping Keo, yes and that settles a few now as Richard Keogh makes it two and that should see Burley home and hosed into the fourth round of the FA Cup good left footed drive beyond the brilliant Scott Shearer and Burnley may have just come out of this trip with a fourth round spot means they'll go in the hat for the draw of the fourth round after the replays take place in a week and a half's time Mansfield nil, Burnley two. 
And it's not been without uh, scares, that's for sure. Mansfield were always going to have a good spell. They had the spell and they didn't take any chances from it. It's a poor ball by Pierce. Galloway. Oh, that was poor as well. Chance for the men from Nottingham should to try and pull something back here. Rose. Reflected off Bellerin. Boyd. Only playing a little Russian roulette at the moment, Pierce. And the centre back who'd storm forward. Smashes it into the stand. In fact, he almost nicks it out of the ground. Poor finish there by Pierce. Ten to go. Mansfield nil, Burnley two at Field Mill. Cummins winning the header though. Then Rose giving it straight to George Boyd. Relating Sam Folks. And he's through on Scott Shearer's goal. Quite get his second. Yes, he will. And Nat finishes off Mansfield, good and proper. No giant killing at Phil Mill today. A thoroughly professional performance from John Stutties Burnley. And laying to rest all the trouble they had against League Two opposition the last time they played, aside from League Two in Barnet. And they came unstuck at home on penalties. Well, no such problems today at Phil Mill in the FA Cup. They're going through. And going through in the end quite comfortably. They have had the better of it. They've had the better chances. They've had the better possession. Mansfield had a good 15 minute 20 spell in the game when they could have easily took a couple of chances themselves. But in the end, Premier League scratches telling good and proper now. Taffa falls eight to Rose. There's a chance though for Thomas. Might be Summit still in it for Mansfield. And Thomas hits it over the bar. Oh, it would have been a bit more respectability from uh, the League Two side's point of view. But no cigar there, but uh, Heaton is giving it straight here to Blair, and Blair shoots over. Well, he's had two chances today, Blair, and he's failed to hit the target on each occasion. Kill. Proud of minutes at the end. Rose, what a brilliant interception. And to be fair to Mansfield, they haven't stopped running all day. Green, good save by Heaton. A worse goalkeeper might have been beaten there. Tom Heaton has been so assured today. Whistle goes. And Burnley safely in the end through to the fourth round of the Emirates FA Cup. Two for Sam Vokes. And one from Richard Keogh were more than sufficient to send the Premier League leaders through to the third, fourth round. Mansfield knife in League 2 again with a really good goal, but they were beaten by Premier League quality. Final score at Field Mill in the third round of the Cup, the FA Cup. Brave, brave Mansfield Town nil. The rampant Clarets, three. And they go through to the fourth round draw the Clarets. Well, some very good games being played today, and uh, I'm very pleased that um, I'm very pleased that it's ended in a victory for uh, for ourselves. Let's remind ourselves of what happened in the other third round clashes. Now, at uh, the Crown Ground or the Stortford Stadium, as it's known, now Accrington put up a brave fight, but Man City won three nil. In the tie of the round at the Emirates, Manchester United beat the Arsenal by two goals to one. Aston Villa are through though, 1-0 winners over Fulham at Villa Park. Birmingham and Southampton drew 1-1 at St Andrews, so they'll have to do it again at St Mary's. Bolton were beaten 1-0 at Ewood Park by, you know who, Blackburn Rovers. Bournemouth were too good for Millwall in the end, the team in the playoffs in the championship. Brentford 4, Port Vale 0. Brighton holding Liverpool 1-1-1 to down at the Amex, so a good result for them. Chelsea safely through 2-0 against Cardiff. Colchester and Sheffield United will have to play off again at Bramall Lane after a 1-1 draw. Same for Reading and Crew. They'll have to replay at the Majeski Stadium. Watford are out, beaten by Crystal Palace by a goal to nil at Selhurst. Uh, Derby 2, Swansea 1. So Swansea are out of the cup and join Watford and Arsenal as high-profile Premier League casualties. 
Bradford are through 3 1 in the Yorkshire Derby at Doncaster. No such worries for Everton. 2 0 winners over Rotherham at Goodison. Gillingham and Wolves finished 2 on 1 at the Priestfield, so it's back to mowing you for the replay. Swindon beaten out, beaten 2 1 at the John Smith Stadium by Huddersfield. It's which 2 go for Port Burton Albion at Portman Road. Peterborough through 3 1 at uh, Brisbane Road against Lake Orient. As you just seen, Mansfield nil, Burnley 3 2 for Bokes and 1 for Keogh. Middlesbrough 2, Chesterfield 1. So Chesterfield not winning the not getting the revenge mercy they wanted from 1997 when they were clearly robbed that afternoon at Old Trafford Bristol City winning at the MK Dons by a goal to nil Norwich Burnley's next opponents in the league just about did enough to see off Sheffield Wednesday two goals to one at Garrow Road Hull have knocked out Nottingham Forest 2-1 at the City Ground QPR have knocked out Oxford 2-1 at the Kassam Stadium Stoke have come for a difficult trip at uh, Deep Dell to knock out Preston. Tottenham 2 good for Charlton Athletic. Brew 2 0. Sunderland 4, Stevenage 0. Very one sided that one. The Leeds and also have to play off at Allen Road. They drew 2 2 at the best cut today. Newcastle have knocked West Brom out of the League Cup. So Tony Pulis' season is going from bad to worse. As for Steve McLaren's Newcastle, it's getting better and better. West Ham knock out Leicester 2 1 at uh, Upton Park and finally Wigan just way too good for Fleetwood Town for one winners so the replays we've got to have these replays before the draw they take place on the 10th for this month Reading have played Crew, Sheffield United take on Colchester Southampton Birmingham Wolves and Gillingham Leeds and Warsaw and finally Liverpool against Brighton at Anfield so that is that as regards the FA Cup. As for us, at the moment we here have a transfer offer. And it's Dwight Gale who's uh, been courted by Aston Villa. And we are rejecting because he's in the form of his life at the moment and I don't want him to go. Um, Border trying to get in the, the act on the transfers situation, but that's it for the. We've just got a transfer offer for Tom. Tom Eaton. I'm sick of the chief executive getting involved as well at the moment. He's our best goalkeeper, by the way, Tom Eaton. He's. So crew, we're losing Tom Anderson there to crew. I'm not really that bothered about Tom Anderson. I just understand understand why. Jamal ourselves, I'm leaving I'm gonna sell him as well. But uh but that's it for this episode. This particular episode we play Norwich City as we just get a, a bid there for Dunking Guy. Um I'm gonna count off he's gonna be worth five hundred and five hundred and thirty for him. But we play Norwich City next at Carroll Road. Be sure to join us for that one. Till then. Take care. Keep subscribing because this is going to be a real, really, real, real roller coaster ride at the moment. Until then, we'll see you at Carroll Road, but we're now safely through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. So, Norwich, take care.